I can not cross contaminate, you know? This is a science experiment, okay? All right, so for about the past probably a year or two now, I've been raving about the CYO Long Lasting Life Proof Foundation. This is one of my favorite Holy Grail foundations. It's one of the only foundations that I can wear on its own and it looks amazing on my skin throughout the day. It wears amazing, it's dewy, it looks like skin, it has good coverage, you can build it up. I can mix it in with pretty much anything. So naturally, my favorite foundation was discontinued. CYO is no longer existing. The foundation is being discontinued, but also the brand is no longer gonna be existing. I think they said it'll be officially done in the fall. So that's a bummer. I do have about 15 of these backed up. So I think hopefully I'm good for the rest of my life. As soon as the news came out that this was being discontinued, so many of you guys, I don't think I've ever gotten more messages about something in my life, but so many of you guys said that the Soap and Glory Kick-Ass Foundation has the exact same ingredients and is owned by the same parent company, and everything. So for today's Foundation Friday, I want to do half my face with CYO, half my face with Soap and Glory, and see if there's any kind of difference, see how they wear throughout the day, see if this is a total complete dupe for it, and we no longer have to worry as long as they don't discontinue this. The other thing is that these two foundations have the exact same ingredients. So in theory, they should perform exactly the same. But I'm kind of curious if Boots knew that they were discontinuing CYO, so they launched this foundation as like the replacement or they realized that it was a really good formula that people were really liking. That they didn't want to just like toss, so they used it for this foundation. Not sure, you know, the behind the scenes there. For having the exact same ingredients, this one is actually double the price. So this foundation retailed for $7. You get one fluid ounce in both of these, but the Soap and Glory Foundation retails for $16 versus $7 for the exact same thing. The other only difference that I can like visibly see is that one has matte packaging and one has like the shiny black packaging, but as far as the rest of the packaging, they're exactly the same, same size, same everything. I have already tried this foundation actually in a video, but I'm going to insert this clip here where I first tried this Open Glory foundation back in, I think it was back in March, and I noted in that video how similar it seemed to CYO. Bottle reminds me exactly of my favorite Holy Grail. This looks like the exact same bottle. This one is shiny and this one is matte, but I think they're the exact same bottle. So far, no complaints. It's looking nice and just kind of like smoothing and flattering on the skin. But I don't think I ever like wore it for a full day after that video. I kind of just like forgot about it. I was trying everything else. So I am curious today. But if you enjoy Foundation Fridays and you're excited to see if these things are dupes, then you can give this video a thumbs up. If you're new here, I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 p.m. Pacific time. I am gonna be having the new Urban Decay Naked Foundation coming, the new Benefit Hello Flawless Foundation, a few others. There's been a lot of foundation launches recently. I haven't been feeling the best, like I haven't been able to film a full day video, so I'm hoping that we can do that today. I'm hoping I can make it throughout the whole day with the wear test like I normally do, which is 10 hours. Fingers crossed, folks. But let's get into it, so here we go. Alright, so right now it's 10.05 in the morning when we're starting this. Usually when I apply CYO, I like to use my Sigma F80 Flat Top Kabuki brush, and then I'll kind of go over it and like pounce a dry sponge. This is the LA Girl sponge, it's the only sponge I like to use dry. Something about it that's just like magical when you use it dry. So that's how I apply it. So I'm going to use the exact same method when I try this Open Glory one. So I have two different F80, not that, two different F80 foundation brushes here just so... I can not cross contaminate, you know? This is a science experiment, okay? The shade I use in CYO is 101. I actually just finished up a full bottle of this, so that will be going in empty. So I have a fresh bottle here to try. And then I also have the lightest shade in the Soap and Glory, which is shade one. So just looking at the shades in the bottle, this one looks actually a bit more yellow. This one definitely looks a little bit more neutral. So we'll see if we can see a difference when it's on my face at all. Also with the shade range, CYO does have more shades. CYO comes in 15 shades, Soap and Glory comes in 12. So the shade range isn't exactly the same, which is probably why these two lightest shades are like slightly different looking. Why is this not autofocusing? Hello? My camera's autofocus just decided to break, so that's fantastic. So I'm gonna try and stay right here to stay in frame. I'm gonna start out with the CYO Long Lasting Life Proof Foundation on the right side of my face. So I can get this foundation to pretty much full coverage, but if you use less product and like a sponge, you can definitely sheer it out. So let's go in on the other side now for Soap and Glory. Just pumping these out, Soap and Glory actually does look a little bit thicker. I know I didn't show you the initial pump of the other one, but it does look slightly thicker. So we are switching brushes now. Here is Soap and Glory. 
The shade once is on my face, I think looks pretty much the same. I do feel like I'm getting a little bit less coverage on this side. Yeah, this one is slightly thicker. Not like thick, just kind of creamier. It does feel a little bit thicker on the face too. Like I weirdly can feel a difference, but the shades I think look pretty much the same. Like you would not be able to tell I was wearing two different foundations. So now I'm gonna take my dry sponge and just kind of smooth over only my forehead. I don't have anything on it right now. I'm just kind of pressing the product into my skin. This gives me the most flawless kind of finish with this foundation. Usually any foundation I like to do this. It's looking pretty much identical on both sides. Like I said, I do feel like this side is slightly thicker. It just feels more of like a cream foundation on this side versus like a liquid. But keep in mind, I'm being like ultra critical here because that's what this review is. So it is 10.13, I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and then we'll be right back. It's now 10.28, but we're calling the check-in time 10.15 and the rest of my makeup is on. Still looks exactly the same, stuff blended out exactly the same over top, looks exactly the same. So I'm gonna do a shot in natural lighting so we can see what it looks there in a second, but on the rest of my face, for blush I used this Pac-Man Wet n Wild. I ended up going in with this shade right here. And then I used the Alima Pure Highlight, Trees Prime and Fine Contour Ashy Radiance. For lips, I used a combo of three things, kind of unnecessary, but I used the Laura Mercier Rosewood Liner, Marc Jacobs Sugar Sugar, which is this like pearly light pink shade. And then to top it off, I put on this Bite Beauty Gloss. It's in the shade Flat White. And then I have still been loving the Essence Lash Princess. This is so good. I tried this in the Amazon video. So let's go see what this looks like in natural lighting. Okay, I don't know what in the heck is happening today with cameras, but this camera is making a weird ticking noise. So hopefully you can't hear that. That one won't focus. They always seem to break at the exact same time. But again, here's the CYO side. Here's the Soap and Glory side. I'm trying to get it so the lighting is like hitting the same, you know, so there's no shadows. Yeah, identical. So, so far so good. If this is like exactly the same, then that'll be amazing. So here's my forehead, CYO this side, Soap and Glory this side. What do you guys think? Can you see a difference at all? But I'm going to shoot for my normal 10 hour wear test today, so we'll see how that goes. But I will see you guys in a few hours back in natural lighting. Okay, so it's now 3 o'clock, so it's been on for about 5 hours. My bun was feeling a little tight and wild, so got some really... Uh, great looking hair going on right now. Before I jump into the foundation update, two exciting things. One, Instagram giveaway is going on right now, so I'll have my Instagram down below. It's just the Taylor, same as my YouTube name, but there's a bunch of good makeup on there if you guys want to go enter. Second thing, right now, when you guys are seeing this video, the pre-order for the Heck Yeah design that I had a couple years ago, I'm bringing it back for a limited time. So you can pre-order the Heck Yeah t-shirt right now. So I'll have the link for that right at the top of the description box down below. And for sizing, I wear a size small in that one, but if I want it a little bit bigger, I'll wear a medium. I have both. It's the same exact t-shirt as the Beauty Wishes one. If you purchase one of those for Project Beauty Share, they're super soft, they wash really well, they're high quality, and they're gonna last. They're not like cheapy merch kind of shirts. They're like legit good t-shirts. I might need to put my hand down because my arm's gonna fall off for this foundation check-in. Looking exactly the same. So here we are up close after five hours. So again, this is the CYO side. This is the Soap and Glory side. To me, oh, hello, son. I don't see any kind of difference. I think my forehead is a little bit more dry on this side of my face right here right now. So that's the only kind of different I'm noting, but other than that, I think the foundation looks exactly the same. It's not creasing bad, wears how it normally wears, and it looks good. So I'll see you guys at the end of the night for a final check-in. Okay, so it's now 7.40, so it's been on for almost 10 hours, and let's see how it's looking. I have been kind of laying down, kind of like switching sides, so there might be a little bit more rubbed off than usual. My forehead doesn't look the absolute best, like I said, because I've just been like laying on it and stuff, but the rest of my face, it looks the same on both sides. Here's Soap and Glory side. Here's CYO side, we've got some intense sunsets happening right now. So, I'm excited to report the findings that I'm pretty sure this is the exact same foundation. I mean, it looks the same on my skin. They both didn't oxidize the same, like they stayed the same colors when I first put it on. So, that's good news. So if I ever run out of my back stock of CYO, I will have this open glory, but if you haven't purchased either of them yet, I would say definitely get the CYO while it's still available because it's half the price and it's the same thing. But I hope you guys enjoyed this Foundation Friday. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. But I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.